All right, guys, welcome back to What If Goku is in Vegeta's Crew. I'm enjoying this series. Hope you're enjoying it, too. With all that being said, let's get to it. It's been years since Captain Ginyu took Vegeta's body. No one's seen him. They looked for him and scoured the Empire, but no matter where they went, no one could find Ginyu. The Empire continued to run the universe as they were controlling everything. Eventually, though, one day... As Vegeta and Kakarot would be on their thrones, someone would walk in. It would be Supreme Kai Shin. As he walked to them, Nappa and Raz turned Super Saiyan to try to scare him off. But Supreme Kai Shin wouldn't be deterred. As he looked at them both, saying, I need your help to defeat Majin Buu, and if you do it, you can defeat Ginyu. As Vegeta would get up and say, Who are you? Kakarot would say, I've been through Frieza's files. And mentioned a Supreme Kai before. He helps create planets and guide life in the universe. He is like a god. Vegeta would say, God or not, no one demands me around. As Supreme Kai Shen would talk about how dangerous Majin Buu is, Vegeta would be excited for a fight, so he would agree. As the Saiyans went off to Earth, Earth has been totally wiped out, no life there whatsoever. So Bobbity wasn't too happy that his egg was there, but there wasn't much he could do. Eventually the Saiyans would arrive and Bobbity would be watching them and be excited to finally get some energy. As the Saiyans landed, Chin would try to have them sneak into Bobbity's base, but Bobbity already knew where they were at. Even though they were hiding their power levels, he watched them with his magical ball. He would say, Deborah, get rid of Kabito, but not anyone else. We need them all to be alive to gather as much energy as possible. Deborah would bow and say, yes, master. As they all went around and eventually found Bobbity's base, suddenly the door would open and Deborah would fly in and kill Kabito. As then he would fly back in. Vegeta was very angry. He didn't even fight him. He just ran away like a coward. Who just hits someone and runs away like that? Vegeta was going to show him what's for as they all started to go in. But Shin started to say, no, what are you doing? This is a trap. Kakarot would say, trap or not, we can handle it. As they all jumped in. As they were all in the first room ready to fight, suddenly someone walked through the door. It was Pui Pui. As Pui Pui began to laugh. <laughs> Hello, Saiyans. I've heard about you from my master, the one who killed Frieza. You seem very strong. I can't wait to break you. As then he would charge straight at Vegeta, punching him, but it did nothing. As Vegeta just yawned, and their fight would continue similarly as in canon, but this time Vegeta would be even more brutal, hitting him in his pressure points, torturing him, and enjoying his pain and misery. Because this is what happens to those who challenge Vegeta. This is what happens to those who challenge their empire. They will be crushed. Bobbity would get desperate and change the floor to his home planet. As then, Pui Pui would look at Vegeta. This is ten times gravity. Vegeta would laugh and say, ten times? It was a thousand times. Maybe you would stand a chance. Pui Pui would look and say, are you mocking me? As he would try to punch Vegeta, Vegeta would simply grab his hand and snap it. As it broke, Pui Pui fell to the floor. Vegeta would say, you're pathetic, you know that? A waste of space, as then Vegeta would simply blow him up. The next match was against Yakon. As Kakarot fought him, Bobbity began to get more and more nervous. They were wiping out his minions one by one. He wasn't going to be able to win. He needed a way to win, so he started to search for evil in anyone's hearts. But Bobbity couldn't find any since they were all pure heart. <laughs> Just kidding, they were all pretty bad, to say the least. Bobby was excited, but he couldn't turn everyone because then, well, he wouldn't get any energy. So, he decided to turn Raditz. Raditz was the most hateful. Even though they were all evil, Raditz was jealous. Kakarot became Super Saiyan before him. And even though he's a low-class warrior, he's got Vegeta's respect. And Raditz never had anyone's respect. Not Nappa, not Vegeta, only Kakarot's. But that can only get him so far. As Raz fell to the floor and began to grab his head, he let him take control so he can get stronger, as suddenly he would feel a massive power boost. As Yakon died, Raz looked at them both and turned Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> Who will fight me? Kakarot would say, I will get this. Vegeta would say, I need to put him in his place. No, 
I'll fight him. He's my brother. You guys carry on. They would nod as Kakarot would go out and fight Raditz. As they fought, Kakarot would look at him. Is this is what you want? Being a puppet to someone stronger? Raditz would say, I'm no puppet. Besides, that's how Vegeta treats me. That's how I've always been treated. Once Bobbity sees what I've done, I will kill him. I just need to defeat you so I can kill Vegeta. And Kakarot turned Super Saiyan 2 also as they both began to battle each other. Raditz would look at him and say, why are you defending him? Raditz would shoot a double Sunday as Kakarot would shoot a Kamehameha and he would hit back, hitting Raditz straight in the face. Kakarot would say, what are you talking about? Ever since you both turned Super Saiyan, you've been closer than anyone else. And you're a low-class runt. He hates low-class warriors. It makes no sense why you two are like this. It makes sense, no sense why you two are so damn close. Kakarot would look at him and say, Why does it not make sense? He respects that I'm strong. Vegeta's grown as a person. We all have. Even if we're Saiyans. Even if we wipe out other people. We've still grown. Rats would say, Bullshit. Vegeta's always been the same. And he never treats me with anything differently. You're hiding something. Raz would say as he would charge in. As they began the battle, they kept on talking. Raz would keep pushing Kakarot. Demanding that he tells them the truth. Demanding that he's hiding something. But Kakarot would say he doesn't know what he's talking about. As that was going on, we cut to Vegeta. Vegeta was fighting Deborah. Deborah would be giving him a hard time using many magic and different abilities. However, he would still be much stronger and be wiping the floor with Deborah. Deborah would feel panicked, as no matter what he did, Vegeta was simply on top of it. Vegeta was simply too strong. As he was about to kill Deborah, suddenly, the ground began to shake. As Vegeta versus Devora and Raditz versus Kakarot was just enough to awaken enough energy to suddenly bring back Majin Buu. As Majin Buu was brought back, Deborah would get up and say, CHANGE NOW! As it was actually Captain Ginyu, and he would take Majin Buu's body. As Ginyu would begin to laugh. And this would actually make him stronger. Since Ginyu is a skilled martial artist. And Boo is actually a little kid. It would actually make him more powerful. Similar to what happened with Tagama. In the Frieza arc. As Captain Ginyu laughed. Vegeta would look up. Horrified. As Kakarot and, and Rats would both fly in. Injured. Heavily breathing. Supreme Kai Shin was scared. As they all would charge in and begin to fight Majin Boo, But... Nothing worked. Ginyu Boo was simply too strong. Every time he blew him up, he just regenerated. And he was learning new techniques and new abilities. Even with all of them being Super Saiyan 2s, Majin Boo was simply too powerful. As they were all pushed further and further and further back, they all began to panic. However, Supreme Kai Shin would show up and Kai Kai them to the Supreme Kai world. As they all laid down, Supreme Kai Shin would begin to heal them, as they needed to come up with a battle plan. But then, Majin Buu would appear, as they were all shocked, as Captain Ginyu laughed. <laughs> I can learn any technique just by seeing it once in this body. This is why it's so easy to learn. This is why it's so easy to become stronger in it. This is the best body I've ever had, and I will rule the universe in it. As then, Captain Ginyu did a pose. Kakarot got up and said, Vegeta, we have to. Vegeta would sigh, not wanting to do this, but he would give up his pride to protect his friends. As they would both start to do the fusion dance, Kakarot and Vegeta would fuse. This is the birth of Gogeta. I mean, it should be Kakarot and Vegeta's name combined, but I, that doesn't sound catchy. So, I'm going with Gogeta. Gogeta and Majin Buu slash Captain Ginyu began to battle each other. But Gogeta was far stronger, and he knew about Captain Ginyu's tricks, so he wouldn't let his body be stolen. He also knew Majin Buu had a great stamina, regeneration, and this form wouldn't last forever. So, they would use their new fine powers to reach a new form, Super Saiyan 3, as Captain Ginyu fell to his knees. How? How is this power possible? He looked at him and said, This is the power of working together. This is the power of being together. We might be evil. We might kill. We might slaughter. But teamwork is what makes us strong. Teamwork is what makes the Saiyan race powerful. And teamwork is how we killed Frieza. And it's how we're gonna kill you. As then they blew up Captain Ginyu, killing him. 
as Captain Ginyu died, eventually Goku and Vegeta would unfuse. As they would both look at each other, Vegeta would say, I'm never going to fuse with you again. Kakar would laugh and say, fair, as they did it. They saved. That is where I leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video down below. I really enjoyed this series. I'm glad you are watching it. I'm glad I get to continue it. I'm glad this series is doing quite well. I think the last time a series did this well was when what I what if I was in Dragon Ball, which was a while ago. And I do want to do another series where I have my own OC in Dragon Ball, but I want to do it with someone else too. So yeah, please let me know down in the comments if you make what if videos and want to collaborate. You'll make a video, then I'll make a second video, or I'll make a video and you'll make the second video and go on and on. I think that would be very interesting. Anyway. That's kind of what I want to do. What if we were in Dragon Ball? I always kind of want to do that with someone, but I couldn't really find anyone to collaborate. I mean, I know YouTubers, but the ones I know are too big. Or, or t don't even do what if stuff. Like, I can't collaborate with Mr. Beast. Can you imagine that? What if Mr. Beast was in Dragon Ball? <laughs> I might do that. It won't be a full series. Just one video, like a joke video. I think that'll be funny. Anyway, I took up enough of your time. Peace out. Love you all.